Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. What's up, Walker and all? This is R. Malieri, and I'm here with another review in our iOS jailbreak series. And this week, it's totally crazy. We're not doing any apps for the iPhone. We're actually doing the Apple TV 2G. Uh, this thing is totally jailbroken with green poison. Uh, we're running 4.2.1, so we haven't upgraded to the latest on this. Uh, because it's not quite jailbreakable. So 4.3 is not jailbreakable, keep that in mind. Uh, if you're on 4.2.1, you're good to go. You can uh, go ahead and jailbreak it with green poison. Uh, what you need is uh, a micro USB cable. So you got USB on this end and micro, I don't know if you can see that, micro on the other end. So what you would do is just unplug the power from your um, Apple TV 2G and put the micro into the back and USB into your PC and what you want to do is put it into uh, recovery mode and the way you do that is by holding the menu and the play button together for about seven to eight seconds and then the light will start flashing and once this little white light starts flashing you know that you're in recovery mode and you can go ahead and begin to jailbreak that's when you launch green poison and green poison would say hey is this an Apple TV you say yes hit the button and you're jailbroken and once that's all good to go uh, you can come on into your Apple TV 2G and go ahead and set up some mods and tweaks that are just totally amazing. So uh, it gives you the Cydia App Store, the equivalent of the Cydia App Store for the Apple TV uh, once you are uh, done with Green Poison. And uh, once you get into that, which is called Nito, N-I-T-O TV, uh, right over here, once you get into that, then you can go ahead and install whatever extra mods and tweaks you like. I don't have too much of it in here now. Uh, I put this little awesome thing here you can see with the uh, home screen slideshow and then you saw a minute ago that I have custom screen savers without using um, the iTunes uh, home share thing. I can just SSH into this bad boy with Cyberduck, put a folder in the root and tell the uh, screen saver to uh, rotate those pictures. So um, Nido TV, some of the examples of the software that you can install are um, all sorts of different things. Update be gone, so this will remove the uh, nagging update screen that you get from Apple TV every time. You got OpenSSH, uh, lets you access your machine uh, from uh, a Mac. Uh, Overflow, you can categorize all the different things you got in there into one menu list instead of having like a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, all sorts of awesome things here. Uh, you even have something crazy like uh, a VNC server, so you can control your Mac through your Apple TV using VNC. That's a sneak peek for you of Nido TV. Once you put that in on the jailbreak, you got all these extra mods. Uh, you got things like weather, RSS feeds, um, your standard internet options like Netflix, YouTube, all of that remains the same. It's perfectly fine, stable and safe. Uh, and then, you know, TV shows, movies, same as you're used to. They're all right there. And uh, now, what I, I really love is the ability to have a WebKit browser. Uh, this puts Apple TV on the same playing field as a Google TV. You can surf the web now, you can install apps uh, with the home share and AirPlay and all these other crazy features that uh, this gives you if you're really uh, into the Mac platform. Um, I think with the jailbreak, the Apple TV can give Google TV a huge run for its money. Um, so check out the WebKit browser. I'm going to show you some cool things. You can bookmark sites. Uh, you can look at your history. You can change the settings and you can enter addresses and even do a Google search. So um, I have a really cool bookmark to show you guys. Go on in here and I'm going to launch uh, everybody's favorite live stream right here on uh, live.perillo.com. So we'll go over here and see what Chris is up to. Um, now, navigating this is a lot smoother with my iPhone, but since I'm uh, recording with it, uh, I'm going to use the remote. So, super easy stuff. Give it a second, and it's going to go ahead and load the HTML5 version of the live stream, which is the pocket.perillo.com. That's the one that you can get on your mobile phone with your iPad and your uh, iPhone. Here we have Chris, and... Uh, He's talking to Guy Kawasaki, actually, guys. That is Guy Kawasaki right there. And him and Chris are just chilling. Chris is on uh, our jailbreak video, and he doesn't even know it. We're doing it from an Apple TV 2G. How awesome is this, okay? So there you go. You can even hear the sound. You can hear him. So 
So you've got uh, you've got audio and you've got uh, video right there with the WebKit browser. Go back to the main menu here. Your standard uh, AirPlay sharing that you would have uh, with uh, HomeShare works perfectly fine. Uh, something I really like, Last.fm. Um, you can install the Last.fm module and play your uh, favorite songs and uh, different stations. But uh, we don't own rights to any music, so we're not going to demo that for you guys. Now over here, uh, you have all your regular settings that you would see in your standard Apple TV 2G. In addition to that, you also have a thing called custom settings that comes once you jailbreak. The custom settings, uh, any modules that you have or add-ons, uh, the settings for those will be here. So I have uh, the screensaver that I've modified and the main menu extension, which is the uh, main menu slideshow. So all the settings for that are in there too. Uh, give you a sneak peek of the screensaver. Um, I can go in here into the root of my Apple TV and place whatever folder I want with whatever pictures I want so I don't have to deal with the home share if I don't want to keep my Mac on all the time. Totally uh, user controlled, awesome. You just tunnel in and you put what you want in there. Uh, you got the standard transitions. Uh, I've got it on random. And uh, you can even preview it. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. There you go. So got my own custom pictures and uh, totally cool jailbreak feature there that you can't get on a standard uh, iDevice. A lot of people are like, hey, what's jailbreaking all about? Why bother jailbreak? Well, here you go. Uh, this is functionality that the uh, jailbreak community is building. I mean, these people aren't getting paid for this stuff. They're doing it because they love it, and it adds a ton of awesome functionality for us, the users, like web browsing and all these extra mods and tweaks. So um, that's that. Now, the, the uh, main control is the maintenance section. You can go in there and manage all your extras. And uh, when you go in there, you've got the last FM module that I have, the Plex client, so you can uh, use Plex to manage your media, and Xbox Media Center, that's also there. Uh, Couchsurfer Pro, which is the WebKit web, uh, uh, web browser that we already have in there. And uh, Nido TV is also there and installed. Maintenance, um, what you're seeing, all this extra functionality is not from Green Poison. This is an extra module called ATV Flash Black. It's from Fireblog, check them out, and the Seasons Pass uh, jailbreak for Apple TV 2G. I'm not using Seasons Pass, but that whole crew over there is uh, responsible for creating this really cool interface that uh, basically gives you this GUI and all these extra modules. So check them out and uh, go ahead and jailbreak your Apple TV 2G. Uh, tell us how you like it. If you have questions for us, leave them in the comments. Again, uh, you can follow me on Twitter if you have questions for me. It's at rmalieri. Or you can check out some of my other videos. Head on over to my channel at youtube.com forward slash rmalieri. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, we'll see you later.